going to end up uh, down 750 points or so, perhaps a little bit more, 777. Uh, that will be the largest point drop ever uh, in the history of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Again, as a percentage, it's not the worst, but in terms of the pure point drop, you're looking at the worst point drop in U.S. history. Joining us now is John McCain's chief economic advisor, Douglas Holtz Eakin. And, uh, and Doug, John McCain had said over the weekend that he wasn't phoning it in, that he would uh, get lawmakers to support this, get Republicans. What happened? Well, uh, David, uh, today Barack Obama's Democratic Party failed the American people. Uh, what should have been a, a process well, that led to a deal. Specifically, how did they fail them, specifically? At, at every point. When John McCain came and tried to put together a negotiating process with all parties at the table, Wait, he Doug, was Doug, subject back to up partisan a second. You attacks. said today, Doug. You said today. Today, the Nancy Democrats Pelosi, and Barack Obama failed them. How did John? How was John McCain involved in negotiations today? And if you can't answer today, that specifically, how did the Democrats fail them today? Today, Speaker Pelosi delivered an incendiary partisan speech at a moment when bipartisanship was needed to prevail. John McCain had put in place a process where Republicans were at the table. It was a bipartisan process. At every point when he, in that process, as he tried to develop that, wait, he wait, was so subject let's, to let's partisan Let's take your first attacks. point, Doug. So let's take your first point. Doug, let's take your first point. So you're saying, fair enough, partisan speech, fair enough, but that would also then mean that Republicans today put their own feelings, their own hurt feelings about partisanship ahead of the good of the country, right? Uh, look, we have always, John McCain worked the phones uh, today, he worked the phones uh, every day, he's visited with members of the Republican Party. This was a tough vote. Uh, a week ago, they were excluded from the process, there was no deal, taxpayers weren't protected, we we're in a terrible place. He moved this bill as close to something as he could to match the principles that they uh, wanted, and they really were counting on some Democratic participation in that. The Democrats Doug, showed if no he was such moving it, If he was moving it as much as you said, why was John McCain nowhere to be found on Saturday night? I mean, he was off uh, having dinner with the, with the Liebermans, which is fine, but up on Capitol Hill, you had the House Republicans, oh. you had the Democrats, and Secretary Paulson eating pizza out of boxes in the Speaker's office, and they were negotiating until 1 in the morning. Where let was us, John McCain on Saturday night? Let us be very clear that John McCain understands that had he looked like he was going to be the key to the success, the Democrats would attack him and kill the deal. That's what you saw today. They were not going to let John McCain do the job that he was trying to do, deliver a bill that would help the American people. And sadly, the American people will lose as a result of this. John McCain understood that had he kept a low profile, talked with members of Congress, as he did, asked them where they were in their votes, called those members who were reluctant. He was doing his job and doing it with a low profile necessary to keep Doug, the Democrats the from pursuing their last Thursday. Degree. Doug, where was, the last prof where was the low profile last Thursday when John McCain decided he needed to suspend his campaign and, and go to a meeting at the White House? Where was the low profile then? Beginning last Tuesday, Harry Reid said that you know Republicans needed to be on, in on this. John McCain needed to deliver votes. Speaker Pelosi said continuously she was not going to deliver Democratic votes. The Republicans had to do it in the House first. John McCain suspended his campaign to get relief for American families. Put right, in place so we're a right process. back to the original point. As you said, he yes, was there are. to deliver we're back Republican. To the, no, no, wait a second. We are you back said to he was there to deliver Democrats Republican votes. Once again, he sabotaging was, a bipartisan effort to, Doug, to help American families. You just said he was there to deliver Republican votes, and the fact of the matter is, he did not deliver the Republican votes. He took this process from dead in the water to a vote in the House of Representatives this morning. Absolutely dead in the water, no hope whatsoever. A bill everyone condemned. Democrats excluding Republicans. This morning we had a vote, only because of John McCain. And that vote could have been successful, but the Democrats uh, uh, behaved poorly. Th that's too bad. And right, American because families Because the Democrats' suffer. poor behavior, because you're saying because Republicans got their feelings hurt, that's why this vote blew up, right? This is a serious matter that should have been conducted in a serious bipartisan fashion. That's not what we saw at many points in this process. The Democrats displayed no commitment. Where was Barack Obama for today? If you look at what his prepared remarks said, he was praising the passage of the bill. The bill didn't pass. Right, he was, He's he phoning was it in. It, and you guys have issued a statement saying that time. he wasn't supporting it. All right, Douglas Holtz, Doug, he did um, I know. Doug, first of all, before we go, we only got about 20 seconds. What does John McCain think we ought to do next? Uh, he, he's going to land, and you'll get to hear from him. He's out in Iowa right now. Uh, tune in. All right, Douglas Holtz, an economic advisor for the McCain campaign. Doug, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it.